today we got another classic hello fellow plot questers it is i earned the plot quest and today we got this awesome book the curious case of benjamin button and although a lot of you may be aware of this classic i'll quickly explain the synopsis and move on to my thoughts so basically benjamin button ages backwards he was born as an old old man who had seen all the wonders of the world and then he degraded, he de-aged, and became a child when he died. And this is just a normal life. Like, there isn't really anything really special about Benjamin's life. In fact, it's just opposite. He talked with other old men about the good old days and the monotonous things that happened in the world when he was one. Then, as he the age or grew as time went on he got younger and younger and younger and then he helped his dad set up a business and he became really rich and he slowly 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 aged backwards until he became a child and then he died and i think this really shows that in the perspective of benjamin button it's not really that weird it's not really that different except the one fact that he's aging backwards. And although there isn't really any, sp and the, just the fact that there's nothing special that I can really point out, except the fact that he's aging backwards proves this fact. He had a normal life, except he aged backwards. There's nothing that changed, nothing special about him. The only thing being he aged backwards. And you think about this, what is age anyway? It's just the human body learning more new things and accumulating knowledge and going up and up and up and older and older and more and more tired until your mind grows dull and your body grows dull with it. And then you die. What is age? And if age is backwards, then is, there, is it really that bad? It's just that you're bo born knowing everything. And you slowly start to get bored of everything until you become a child. And I don't think that's a bad thing either. Because when you think about it, we are born, then we slowly lose our innocence. And then we become an adult. In this case, you already have the wisdom and you earn back your innocence. The negative way to think about this, of course, is that when we grow up we accumulate knowledge but if we grow backwards we're gonna be losing our intelligence and, and gaining innocence instead and this also makes you think about something do you like your innocence better or do you like your intelligence better i'm not sure about that the innocent days were fun and enlightening but also i really value my intelligence as well so I don't know which one's better. But this really makes you think about all these things with this weird story about a kid who aged backwards. And yeah, I, it really wasn't what I expected. I expected a old man with the mind of a newborn child. And as he de-aged, his mind would still age in that direction. Instead, both mind and body aged backwards, which I didn't expect, and it was a very pleasant surprise as well. So, in other words, it is an awesome, awesome book, and I think you should, you should read it and think about these things that I just talked about now, because it's, these are interesting things to, talk, to think about, and I think that this classic really did help me. So, like always, your plot quest, or Aaron's plot quest, or again, a pretty great book that really makes you think. Classics are classics for a reason.